In the third verse of the book of Genesis in the Old Testament, the Creator stated, Let there be light, and there was light. One of the terms that happened to appear before, even before the dawn of civilization was light. In the ongoing feud between science and religion, as far as physical phenomena and beliefs are concerned, this word may be out of the question. Historically, Sir Isaac Newton believed that light behaves like a particle, while Christian Huygens believed that light behaves like a wave. A third scientist, Max Planck came up with what is now known as the dual nature of light. He explained that the light can be a particle and can also be a wave. To complete our knowledge about the nature of light, James Clark Maxwell proposed of electromagnetic field. While these scientists dig deep into the nature of light and how light are propagated, let us be more familiar with ordinary materials we use as a common source of light. The sun, for example, is known as a natural source of light. Sun is also considered as a luminous body, an object capable of producing its own light. Other sources are the lamps, bulbs, and candles. These are the artificial sources. As mentioned earlier, James Clark Maxwell discovered the electromagnetic theory of light. He combined the concepts of light, electricity, and magnetism to come up with this theory forming electromagnetic waves. Since these are waves, they also exhibit different characteristics of waves such as wavelength, frequency, and wave scale, which we have studied in the Science 7 quarter three episode. But how does light travel and in what path? What are the common properties and characteristics of light? To answer these questions, let us infer that light travels in a straight line and explain color and intensity of light in terms of its wave characteristics. Before we begin, let us describe what light is. Light is an electromagnetic radiation that can be detected by the human eye. It can also travel in a vacuum or space an estimated speed 300 million meters per second. It slows down a little bit when it travels to different media such as gas, liquid, and solid due to their particles and density. Theoretically, this makes it the fastest known entity in the universe. On the other hand, there are different forms of electromagnetic waves arranged according to frequency. This arrangement of the electromagnetic waves is known as electromagnetic spectrum. This time, let us do this simple experiment entitled, Now You See Light, Now You Don't! To infer that light travels in a straight line, first, let us prepare the following materials. Flashlight, or candle, three pieces of 6x6 cardboard with holes at the center, 5x3, shirt clip or sleeve. Attach two pieces of shirt clip or sipit ng lamin below each cardboard to serve as your cardboard holder. Align them 5 cm apart from each other. Make sure that the three holes are aligned from each other. Place a white piece of paper on the wall. Turn on your flashlight or you may light a candle which of them is available at your home. Observe the light as it passes through the holes towards the wall. For question number one, can you see the light at the typewriting on the wall? Yes! As it passes through the holes, we can see it as it reaches the typewriting on the wall. 
Move the middle cardboard a little bit toward the left side. For question number two, can you still see the light at the typewriting on the wall? No, it didn't reach the typewriting on the wall since it was blocked by the cardboard. For question number three, how did light travel at the holes? Based on our observation, we can infer that light travels in a straight line as it passes through the holes. This time, let us explain color and intensity of light in terms of its wave characteristics by doing this experiment and title, Colors of Light, Color of Light, divided into three parts. For part A, color build, we will need the following materials. Color spectrum wheel pattern, cardboard, thread, pair of scissors and cover, tape or glue. Cut the two art files along the lines that make up the color wheel. The small window near the center of the wheel should be completely cut out or removed. Punch two small holes at the center of the wheel. You may use a bottom fastener or glue to secure the two wheels together, one on top of the other. When you see the region of the color spectrum show up in the wind open window and the wavelength, frequency, and energy that correspond to that region showing up under the flaps, then you know that you have done it right. Attach the two circles in a circle cardboard and put the stains at the two points. Here is the finished product. For part B, characteristics of light, use your color spectrum wheel, position the innermost flaps on color spectrum. This will simultaneously position the other flaps of energy, wavelength, and frequency. Rotate the color wheel and observe the combinations. Write your name on the color wheel and submit it to your science teacher as your project. Fill in the table below with the corresponding combinations you have observed using your spectrum wheel. Multiply the frequency in hertz to the wavelength in meters to calculate the wave velocity. Let us do an example. Let us multiply frequency in hertz of red color into its wavelength in meter, which gives us the product of wave velocity. Do the same in orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. For question number four, which color registered the highest frequency? Right, it is violet. How about the shortest wavelength? It is red. For question number five, which color registered the lowest frequency? Great! It is red. How about the longest wavelength? This time it's violet. For question number 6, what did you observe with the wavelength and frequency of the different colors? We can therefore say that as the frequency increases, its wavelength decreases and vice versa. Wavelength and frequency are inversely proportional to one another. 
For part C, combining colors, we will need the following materials. Fiber T, plastic filters or cellophane, colored green, blue, and red. Three pieces of high-intensity flashlights, and rubber band. First, let us cover the lens of the flashlight with blue plastic filter. Let's do the same with the two other flashlights with green and red plastic filters. For question number 7, what do you predict will happen if you shine light through three overlapping color filters? Mm. This time, let us ask someone to hold the two other flashlights while I hold the third one. Shine these flashlights on the white screen and note the colors projected on the screen. Let two color lights from the flashlights cover. Observe what color is produced and fill in the table and answer the questions that follow. For table number two, color that you see. For color green, what is the color projected on the screen? For color blue, what color is projected on the screen? For color red, what color is projected on the screen? For table number 3, color mixing, let's combine green and blue. What is the resulting color? Let's combine blue and red. What is the resulting color? Let's combine blue and red. What is the resulting color? Let's combine red and green. What is the resulting color? Let's combine red, blue, and green, forming a Venn diagram. What are the resulting colors? For question number 8, what happened to the light when you overlap two filters? We could see that when we overlap the two filters, there is a color combination produced. Does the light change color when you add filters? Yes! The light changed color once we added filters. Does it get brighter or dimmer? It might get brighter or dimmer. Why? It all depends on the color property of light known as intensity, which is dependent on the flashlight bulb. Let us summarize what you have learned in the lesson. Electromagnetic waves are waves which can travel in vacuum or space, yet slows down a little bit in different media. This includes gamma rays, having the highest frequency and energy that has the shortest wave. X-rays, ultraviolet, visible light, infrared, and radio waves, which has lowest frequency and highest wave. Light travels in a straight line in a particular medium. Light, accordingly, has wave-like nature and particle-like nature. The visible light can be dispersed into colors known as radio, which stands for red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Of the seven colors of light, violet has the highest frequency and energy, the shortest wavelength. While red has the lowest frequency and energy, yet the longest wavelength. Characteristics of light include energy, wavelength, and frequency. In the color spectrum, we can state that as the frequency and energy increase, its wavelength decreases and vice versa. Brightness or intensity and colors are special properties of light. This can be observed in different phenomena such as rainbows, red sunset, and blue sky. Finally, we can mix the colors of light to produce a new combination. Dispersion a special kind of refraction provided as color lights. 
This phenomenon is observed when white light passes through a triangular prism. When white light enters a prism and travels slower in speed than in vacuum, color separation is observed due to variation in the frequencies and wavelength of color lights. Now, let us apply what you have learned in this lesson. Draw and color this rainbow and describe each color's great characteristics such as wavelength, frequency, and energy using the concept of color spectrum. For further readings, search on how rainbow is produced. Write a 2-5 to five sentence reflection at the end of the list. Please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Math Cycle, like our videos, and hit the bell button for us. I hope you learned the today's lesson. On the next episode, we will infer the conditions necessary for heat transfer to a home. This is Mom Deyas and Diego, your science teacher. See you all next time.